and now there was wood there which I've removed. But uh, this like professional carver says, don't. Do, well, he said, don't do either hand. I right. took that one off, and what you do is just carve it. Because that he said, carve the gun and the hand as a separate thing and mm -hmm. let it into there. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm wishing I'd left it. But the only thing is, you can hardly get into here anyway. Oh. You know what I mean? So if the hand had been in, I don't know. Critically, I mean, but why is uh, what's happened there? Oh, that's. This is just like a test helmet, really. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, that comes off. Right. You know, like, so, 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 what's under there? Uh, Does it lift off? Just, I just lift off. Oh, So, right. yeah, yeah. what's going to happen on the finished thing? Because, see, again, I've had to get into all of this. That's right. You know, and if, if yeah. these helmets on, you just kind of get in. Or you, you might be able to if you spend the rest of your life type of thing, but, you know what I mean? It would take you all day to do the simplest bits. Right. Is that, is that a crack? Is that the grain in the wood? Yeah, uh, that's... That's like a line because this whole block has been like a bit that way, a bit that way, and a bit that way. Oh, like right. laminated together oh, yes, to make because you can't uh, get a block big enough type of thing. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it's all all the details and that are on it, you're probably not noticed. So did you glue it together before you started making it? I just glue, glued it so it was just a but like a you know, it was a block, mm -hmm. like a foot by a foot, roughly. Is it all just separate? No, that's all one. This is joking. all one piece of wood. All this, there's still that same piece of wood. The rope and that, fragile leg. Like. Bloody hell, I. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> yes, Are they right? <laughs> um, no, you can go down that road. Right. Well, there's not there's not that much being done really, John. Um, basically, like his face and that, in the box that he's sitting on, the ammo box. So that's. Like that box is all one, this was all just one big chunk of wood and three bits glued together making one bit. Um, and then basically the job's been to try and make this look like it's lots of separate bits of wood put together. So that rope paddle Nick, that's, that's, that's part of the same block of wood? That's all one bit, that, that was carved, if you imagine at first I just left a semicircle at the bottom and a flat at the top, right. just a block sticking out. Then I've carved that bit out, then the outside, so that's just a thing sticking square out. And then I've had a, um, I think I drilled a tiny little hole in there and then got a blade in and just separated. Yeah. You know, I carved in as much as I could with a V tool, then marked the rope lines on, and then with a, like, it's like a little, um, with a tiny little V tool like that, carved, carved as much of those V's out, right, as as I could, and then after that, it's just been. I mean, this isn't the actual file, but you know, a tiny little, littler than this one, um, you know, then just filed round the each each bit and rounded it off. Um, but I mean, I don't know how long. I can't, you know, probably I don't know a day per side or something like that. Yeah. But it's fragile, you know, it's, it's really fragile, oh, yeah, so you yeah. kind of, you've just got to do it, you know, very gently, otherwise it'll just crack. So, the base is roughly there, the box is 90% sort of finished, and then I've just started on his face, um, which, you know, the helmet's removable, so that, that's not going to be the final one, but um, you can't really get in with that helmet on, so... The, the face has just um, been all sorts of various things, like carving tools. But, you know, with the face, that's his, his face and hair and that more or less done. Um, and then <clears throat> there's a separate hand, separate gun, rifle going to go on. And all of this is still too chunky at the minute. His collar's too chunky, you know, he's coat and everything. Um, but as you can see on the plaster seam one, this this has been left proud at the minute because there's straps and everything going on his webbing and that. Um, and that's like above the highest point that the buckles and that are at the minute, you know. Mm. So you've just got to go down and down. Um, and the same with his feet, his feet are a little bit big. Uh, he's put his up here. Like a little 
What's that there? Um, going to be? That's going to be his water bottle, Richard. Um, All right. But yes. it's that, there's a few bits going to be separate. Yes, understand. Uh, but that's, you know, you probably could have got them out of one, you know, not doing them separate, but the amount of time it takes to work round a bit like that, I it's just, you know, that. it's just adding like days and days onto the thing. So how many hours have you got in this now then, Mick? Uh, honestly, I haven't got a clue, Richard. Just, estimate? More than 200? Oh, I don't know. Weeks and weeks and weeks, you know. But, yeah. but it's been stop, start, stop, start, which yeah. isn't, you know what I mean? It's not the way to do it, really. You're best off just getting stuck in the That's like carving halfway, like probably halfway ish. Uh, just like that, it's just like an abstract art type thing. You know, I'll just hang on a wall. Uh, like a vortex, like whirlpool type thing. That's carved up to a point and then sanded with uh, various sandpapers wrapped around bits of dowel what's and what have you. Yeah, uh, that's walnut. So yeah. that goes like a really dark, um, you know, like that's a rich gun, colour, like gunstock. They make gunstocks or black walnut. Dark black uh, walnut, is it? Uh, high American black walnut. Yeah. And it's um, that that'll just be done with linseed oil, so right. we'll have like a semi sheen on it, not glossy. So that just still needs sort of refining all of these, you know, into the narrow bits there, and that's done with like tiny files and bits of sandpaper glued together, and you know, just again laborious, uh, just carry on till it's done type of thing, then go, you know, fine and fine grades of sandpaper down to probably eight hundred, maybe even thousand, twelve hundred. Um, and you sand it wet with a linseed oil when you when you like probably from when the actual shape gets in from say you know 240 320 400 600 800 you would wet it with the oil and sand it through them grades when it's wet with the oil and okay. the, the slurry the sort of dust that would come off fills all the pores in the wood and then you get like a much smoother sheen to it when it's finished um so that there's that, that one's there, uh, that's just like a practice piece thing, I was showing somebody else how you know how, how to shorten the tools and which tools you would use for which bits. Um, this this lot here is uh, a, a fella at the wood turning club, he's made a chess set, um, there's ebony, ebony and boxwood. Um, you know, these are all turned by hand on a lathe. Um, I mean, it's electric lathe, but you know, it's not CNC or any uh, trickery like that. So, he he's got up to a certain stage with this. That all the turning's done, and he's he's you know he's done the castles and that. Um, but he, he's elderly and he's got arthritis now, and he can't manage um, you know to hold the tools and that. So the the bits that he wants us to finish off for him, like the horses. Um, you know the the knights he wants uh, them finished. So, you know that's the ebony, that's the boxwood. They're both really hard, so they'll they'll get done mainly with um, like power tools like Dremel, like you know a dentist drill type thing with the braids of burrs. Um, there's, there's other. I mean he he's you know done all the likes of that. So it's all in, intricate. Like really nicely turned. Um, I don't know where you know. King is now, because that king, to get that cross there, that's turned like a disc. And then if you imagine if you flatten that side off, flatten that side off, you end up you end up with yeah. you know like a cross. So that, that needs done. Um, and the, the other job uh, for that for that same fella. I'll just grab yeah. it. You know, uh, the other thing he's. He's turned this uh, vase, I'm not sure what wood this is, I think it's sycamore or maple, one of the two, but um, he's got so much of it done, it's basically just like a vine leaf design with spiders and bugs and that, linking it together, so the finished thing, all these bits are still, are still to be cut out, so it'll just be like a lattice work when it's finished, um, and it, like I say, he, his hands have just seized up. Uh, so you're going to finish them off for uh, him? so I'm going to finish that off for him, but I mean there's a lot of... A lot of work. A lot of work and it's a lot of, you know, real delicate stuff again that you kind of hurry sort of thing, so... Um, 
but that you know he's made a good job of turning that it's pretty thin it, it, um, it, it's super nice to see them finish you know so, aye, sort of, yeah. so there's there's that one uh, that's another thing on the go I went on like a turning day with uh, Andrew Hall in Durham who's a good wood turner and he, he sort of specializes in making hats um, so that's turned he, he gave us this one to fit that little carved skull uh, I made one but you know I'd ended up a little bit too little to fit the skull so this is done uh, with wet wood which means you know the wood's just freshly cut so mm -hmm. it's still sort of not dried so uh, it starts off a log and then it, it's turned this would be straight um, so the brim straight you, you would turn it basically like you're doing a bowl but with a big rim and then once it's turned and you get down to about two mil thickness here you put you put elastic bands around it and then you put That's it up under a um you know like a lamp of some sort like you get the heat off the bulb get to dry it and out. that naturally tries to curl up with the way the grains run at the sides mm -hmm. but with elastic bands you can put you know a couple more on and it you know gets the i mean that one's not very even and that but i mean he, he does full size yeah. uh, hats you know mm -hmm. like that you can wear um top hats and that he does as well so the, the band around the, the, the middle, what's what that painted on? Is it? Uh, that's material? just painted. It's right. um, well, it's these sort of wax pencils. When when that was still round, mm -hmm. you can see how oval that's gone. That's that right. that was round when it was on the lathe. You know, mm -hmm. that's just as it's dried, it's went oval. So as that's spinning on the lathe, um, you know, you just hold these uh, colour pencils on, then it leaves the the colours on, and then you like lacquer it over the top. To what see sort of woods have uh, Scotch pine. Scotch pine. Aye. Which, I mean, you can make them out of all sorts of different wood. Um, and the pine's not probably the best, you know, to do it with, but it's it's like cheap enough for trying it out, sort of thing. Um, so that, you know, like I say, he, he does top hats, bowler hats, uh, cowboy hats. Are you full size ones, you say? Oh, aye, full size. I mean, you know, the, the brim on the proper big cowboy hats like that, it's. Uh, you know, they're like a work of art. Um, and the, the other bits and pieces, this is... Uh, just some decoration. Uh, your mate Jim, who uh, John knows, he, he just made that, you know, he made, makes these like a little bird birdhouse with a mm -hmm. little dove on it, just as Christmas tree decorations for people at Christmas, you know. So um, that's just one Jim had made. And then this uh, snowman, that's... You put an incense burning cone on the little metal plate there. The snowman's hollowed out on, uh, underneath here, and that goes right up at the top. And then his mouth there is drilled in and filed in, so it connects to the inside. So that's the, in effect the chimney. Mm -hmm. um, and then you you light the incense incense burner, uh, put the snowman on, and the smoke just comes out his mouth as if he's smoking his pipe. I mean, I've got that little. I haven't got a proper cone but I've got a little bit of candle wick thing mm -hmm. see if it'll come out but that that's uh, that's just turned from one bit of wood the hat's died but it's all, all, you know, it's all one log um, the the band on the hat's died and then the buttons the buttons are little turnings individually with dowels on the back mm -hmm. and they're ebony and his eyes are ebony um, his nose is purple heart and the pipes like made of two bits and that's rosewood and he's just got his little ribbon scarf uh, so that you know that just comes out at Christmas type of thing bit of an ornament there you go alright so that's the effect you see